Hi there. Um, today I just wanted to talk about liver cleansers and um, it's tricky to actually choose a favourite 10. In fact I've got lots of favourite liver cleansers um, that I've been using um, since 2016 uh, when I got diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, so I thought I would just share 11. That's I tried to cut it down to let to 10 but I like the number 11 quite a lot so I thought no I'm going to stick to 11 and some of the ones that I've chosen deliberately um, are ones that are really really um, easy if you're on a budget because some people are and obviously there's loads of wonderful things out there and you know you listen to David Avocado Wolf and he says well you should have this and that and the other and all these wonderful things but they all add up and supplements and everything else all add up. So certain ones I've stuck in the list because not only are they highly effective, but they're also free if you garden correctly or if you know where to go and forage. And I think um, I think that's quite easy to forage. If, um, if you're on this sort of kind of healing path anyway and you're looking into a natural route, you're going to know exactly where to go and collect certain things. So anyway, the first one isn't so much one of the, the free kind of um, healing herbs, but my first one is definitely turmeric. I mean, I love turmeric. Turmeric is just ace. Um, and you can do so much with it, so versatile. So I would say definitely put it in your food each day. If you can, um, if you can put it into whatever meal you're having, grate it or have it um, cooked into stews and things like this but um, the way that I take it every day is I um, is I drink it I drink turmeric um, and I love it like that so I just cut up the root and put it into a cup with some ginger and um, some black pepper and um, and yeah love it and lemon juice I also add in there but um, turmeric is fantastic the other thing is, is that I would recommend taking turmeric um, supplement as well to get extra effect in there and take those probably three times per day, um, breakfast time, lunch time and dinner time and take like about two each time. So you want to be taking say like 500 milligrams, two 500 milligram um, turmeric three times a day. If you can, if you can't afford it, do not beat yourself up about it. This is just 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 a really good, good liver cleanser. Number two is schizandra berry, and um, I discovered this by accident. I um, I liked the sound of the name, and I thought, hmm, schizandra berry. I have a good feeling about this, so I ordered some online, and. Um, and I actually really, really loved the taste. And because I loved the taste, I felt, oh, I must really need this. My body must be saying it, it needs it. So I um, I make it into tea. In fact, it's drunk in China as tea. And um, it has a very unusual, sort of almost like a floral kind of taste. Um, I certainly don't have it as a supplement, but people can take it as a, as a supplement form but I've never done that I just have it as a tea and I would make a very strong tea each evening that's how I have been taking it as a strong tea each night before going to bed number three now this is my first of my freebies the dandelion dandelion is super duper and you can get dandelion everywhere I mean it's everywhere it's all over the place so don't obviously go and pick it next to a verge or something like that. I mean, I, I don't think many people would do something like that anyway. But um, instead of like hoiking out your dandelions if you've got a garden, um, or God forbid you use things like herb, um, pesticides and stuff like this, you know, don't be using stuff like that in your garden anyway. You want it to be nice and organic. But keep your dandelion. Use the leaves and salads. Um, you want to have the youngish leaves if possible. Use the root, make the root into nice teas. Um, I often boil it up and then let it simmer for a certain amount of time. And then I will use dandelion in um, in enemas. I will take them as, as a tea. Um, but mainly I will drink it because um, obviously that's the best way to get straight to the liver. Um, but yes, dandelion. 
number four I have ginger down again it's not too expensive most people can get that and it stretches quite far and it's really potent it's a really potent herb so um, you want to be having that in your food as as often as possible. Um, if you find that you get a bit of cystitis because you're having too much ginger then you just want to back off a bit. Some people are sort of prone to that when they have ginger. They sort of find that it alters their, um, their ability to wee wee. But I've never had that problem. Um, but I think yeah ginger is really good and of course a great complement to have with turmeric. They go so well together. So get your ginger, have it as a tisane, you know, cut some ginger up, shove it in a cup with some hot water, let it infuse, um, put some lemon in there if you want, put some turmeric in there, you know, you can play with it, you can really do whatever you want. Number five, nettle. Um, again, it's free and there's plenty of it and there's no excuses for not being able to do a seriously good liver detox when there are actually things like this available to us all um, and so easy to get hold of. So with nettle it's not always easy to harvest because yes of course nettles can sting you but you want to aim for the tips, the tips of the nettle and um, you can chop it up and then put it into some hot water and let that infuse. Once it's infused, drain it off, and I say that it's infused, leave it for about at least five minutes and you can drink it like that. Um, you can also put it into your food, so you can actually chop it all up and then put it into stews, curries, whatever you cook. I mean, I don't know what you cook. You can also, um, you can also sort of freeze it. So you take the nettle and freeze it and then blend it up um, and make make it with some bananas or something like that as a sort of nice little ice cream. Um, so yeah, it's versatile, you know, you can play with it again. Um, number six, milk thistle. Milk thistle, my god, it's so important for a good liver cleanse. This one I do take supplements of. Um, yeah, I, I definitely go and buy good quality supplements of the milk thistle because it's so effective. Number seven, tamarind. Um, tamarind is, well, fruit, but um, you can buy it in blocks and inside the block you have all the seeds and stuff. What I do is I take out, if I buy, I buy it in blocks and I also buy it as the fruits and I get that online because I'm basically in England and it's not something that grows there. But um, you want to take it um, if you get it in a block, you want to take the tamarind and you want to put it into some distilled water, so not too much, and then you want to just tease it so that you get out all the fibrous bits and all of the stones. And then once you've done that and you've teased it all out and you have just the, the tamari, um, tamarind puree um, with a bit of water, then you can put that into like a, just have it as a drink, or you can cook with it if you want. Um, yeah, lots of people cook with it. I personally just like to just drink it and I have that with some lemon as well. So that's how I do it. I don't take it in supplemental form or anything, but I just, I just drink it. Number eight, licorice. Licorice, um, I love licorice. And um, I drink licorice quite a bit. In fact, I would say I probably have about um, four... Uh, four licorice teas per day. So I'm just doing it in a gentle, gentle manner. Licorice is also, it's not too expensive, so it's quite good for everyone to be able to get hold of. Um, so yeah, number eight is licorice. Number nine, astragalus. Now, a friend of mine, dear Isla, was the one that told me about astragalus. She takes it each day. And, um, and so I started taking it when she recommended, when she told me that that's what she took each day, just in general, she takes it each day, and I really like it. I do feel a difference when I'm taking it, whether that's psychological or not, I can't say. Um, but I do take astragalus supplements. I also take astragalus herb. So, um, so I did start actually with the supplemental forms, so in the capsules. And then I moved to buying just the herb, which again I get online. And um, 
and then I drink that as a sort of like a tea. It is quite potent, but then a lot of herbs are potent, and they're potent for a reason. So, astragalus, 10, number 10, wormwood. This is again a very potent herb, and again I have that in powdered form, like in, as the herb. I did start with that as capsule form, um, much easier to take it, but my friend Vince told me that you want to be very careful about capsules because of obviously the machinery that use, is made is used to make them um, and the chemicals that they use in order to clean the machinery and everything else. So after listening to what he said, I thought, right, well, I'm going to try and make sure that I just go with as many raw herbs as possible. So with wormwood, yes, it's, it's potent. It's got a certain taste to it. It's also incredibly good for dogs, by the way, because um, it's also anti-parasitic. So if you've got a dog that you're not sure if it's got worms or not, you don't have to go and buy those uh, potent chemical things. I say potent. Potent is a good word. Um, but you don't have to go and buy those chemicals. Um, you can actually do it naturally and give them something like wormwood. Um, Sorry, I do reference dogs quite a bit. But, and finally, number 11, and I mentioned this yesterday when I was talking about aloe vera, is aloe vera. And um, with aloe vera, yes, I, I do tend to juice it. I put it in a blender and I juice it, make smoothies and stuff like that. And it's great. Or I just put it in like an aloe vera water. So kind of like with cucumber. Um, piece of aloe vera, let the water sit in the fridge for a bit, let it really infuse, put a lemon in there and then, yeah, drink it, bosh. So these are some great liver cleansers. These are also, um, well, I mean, there's loads more. Um, but yeah, there's some of them are really, really, everyone can get their hands on. And um, I hope this is helpful. I'm going to talk more about each one of these because they all have really great benefits. And now I'm going to go and have some dinner as the sun's going down. And I normally eat much, much earlier than this. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.